Hi, this is Mrs. Perry Ising, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to insert transitions into your video. So a transition is a changeover from one clip to another clip, and I usually use transitions to show a change in time, like from daytime to nighttime, to show a change in location, as if you were doing an original production and part of the story took place at your home, and then part of the story took place at, say, the high school. I would have a transition between the change in scenes and sometimes I would have a transition between a change in people if we were talking about different scenes within a video clip even if it's at the same location so usually time scenes and the characters or the subjects of your video those are the points when I would use the transition and you don't want to be transition happy you don't want to transition after every single video clip so you need to use your best judgment watch your video and see how it looks so at this point between the first video clip and the second video clips are right here that's where I want to transition there's lots of ways to add a transition the easiest way to add a transition is to rest your cursor between the two clips right click and go with the default transition which is a cross dissolve so you say add transition and so if I rest my cursor here and play through the two clips watch over here in the canvas and see what happens it blends from one clip to another if I want to get rid of a transition, I can hit the delete key on the keyboard and put it back in with Command Z. If I wanted to lengthen a transition, I could rest my cursor on either end of it, get that double sided arrow, and drag it to make it a longer transition. So watch what happens when you do that. So you see the transition takes place over a longer period of time. Um, Command Z put it back to normal. So I can do that. Another thing I can do is add a variety of transitions. Instead of using a cross dissolve, I might want to use something else. So let me delete this. And so if you don't want to go with the default, which is here under the right click, add transition, cross dissolve. If I go up into the effects menu at the top of the screen and I choose video transitions, I get a number of categories. So I can look through the categories and find something that I like. So for example, let me open up the wipe category. So maybe I want to do a transition that says... Uh, checker wipe. So if I take a transition from up here in my effects menu, I'm going to take it, click on it, drag and drop it down onto the timeline at the point between the two video clips to insert the transition. So now if I go back, let's watch what that's going to look like. So it's like a checkerboard. Now I usually just use cross dissolve and what uh, it seems to be you know the most popular of the transitions. Now another thing is when I'm adding transitions, if I double click on the transition and I have a look up here in my viewer, I can play with some choices in my viewer. I can lengthen it here and so on. So I don't often use these menus, but they're available to you. So that's all for now on how to add a transition. Thanks for watching.